this video's quality is less than we'd like, since just before recording, Puderu experienced severe technical difficulties, and had to wipe his hard drive. This reset his Twitch settings. We apologize for the state of the video. I think it might be working. <laughs> I think it might be working! Oh my good gravy. I'm just gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch anything until it hits one minute on the little bar there. And once it does, boy howdy, I am gonna, I'm gonna cry. I've been having a bit of a meltdown over here. Uh, to try to get my technology to work as as technology will. I'm really scared that once I press the A button, however, the stream will cut out. Here we go. Moment of truth. Eddie, uh, Eddie, drum roll, please. Drum roll, Eddie. Let's see if this works. It worked! <laughs> Sweet baby Jesus and all of his friends, it worked. Boy, howdy, it worked. Welcome to Dinosaurs, everybody. We are going to play some Jurassic World Evolution 2. I was so obsessed with Jurassic World Evolution 1. Um, after I streamed it the first time, the reason why I didn't come back to stream it a second time was because I was just playing it constantly for about two weeks, three weeks. I just couldn't move on from the first game. I, I went from not really thinking the game was all that to adoring it in that stream and then buying all the DLC, uh, buying a physical copy, and pre-ordering this one within the expanse of like two days. This is Dinosaur Simulator 2. Uh, very excited to start playing it. Uh, when I say uh, excited to start playing it, um, you may notice it says that I've done 100% of the story campaign and 74% of the Chaos Theory campaign. That's because I have been playing this all week <laughs> since it got released. The story campaign is not this game's experience. It's completely different to building a park. It's all about just saving the dinosaurs. I think it's supposed to bridge Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom to the new movie they're going to release uh, in a couple of years' time. But the actual experience of Jurassic World Evolution from the first game, park building and getting people in your park, is Chaos Theory. And what you do in Chaos Theory is you go through each of the films in a what-if scenario, like Marvel What If, and you see what would have happened if you had saved the first Jurassic Park. What would have happened if you had opened Jurassic Park San Diego as planned? What would have happened if Simon Masrani from Jurassic World had bought Ela Sauna earlier than he did? All these cool what-if scenarios about making sure the Jurassic Worlds and the Jurassic Parks actually made it through. So yeah, this is, this is my third time having to restart the Jurassic World Park because every time I've started it, I have just been floored by how hard keeping this park open is. Jurassic World, the one I'm doing now, is so tough because the island you're on is trying to kill you. So I've recently started this one. We haven't got much going here. We've got some Triceratopses and some Ankylosauruses here. Uh, we've got some Gallimimuses and some Nasutoceratopses here. We've got Parasaurolophuses, Parasaurolophi, and Edmontosaurus is here. Not all too sure what this is. I think I was beginning another enclosure and then I gave up. Uh, we've got we've got a T-Rex here, but that's part of the problem of why this is so hard. So basically, what the chaos theory for this does, uh, when you're playing Jurassic Park 2 and you're playing this one, the one of the first dinosaurs they give you is the T-Rex and you're like hell yeah, man. I've got a T-Rex Problem is You don't have the genome for that T-Rex because you didn't make it you got given the T-Rex So you have to then go and get the T-Rex genome at some point But it's really expensive and you're not earning that much money So what you're essentially doing is you're racing the T-Rex before it dies your entire park everything you're doing is leading up to you getting the T-Rex genome so that when your T-Rex dies 
you don't lose all your money because the T-Rex is the breadwinner. But all your other dinosaurs don't get that much money in. So <laughs> you are essentially, when you're building these parks, racing the T-Rex to die. So this game is actually introduces a lot that's different to the first game. Um, first and foremost, paleontology uh, medicine. You have these like vet units you can go to send in to make sure that your dinosaurs aren't sick. It's not all the ranger team anymore, which is nice. Uh, store? Oh, really? 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 I just started the stream and you're going to hit me with a storm. Structure damage. Uh, let's tran tranquilize the T-Rex. Just trank the T-Rex. You're right next to it, go and fix it. You really just want this particular pen to, uh... Where are you going? Come back. Y'all really want this pen to get f***ed up, huh? Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Okay, well, let's at least... The dinosaurs are panicking, let's at least fix the power. that's making me nervous. It's okay, Claire. I'm also panicking, but for way different reasons. Ah. Uh... Okay. Don't yeet the little triceratops. It's not his fault. Her fault. Their fault. Uh, I might... I might get the, uh... I might get the ACU team to just knock out the dinos. Okay. Oh, nice! That was quick! He was like, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Triceratops was like, I'm free! <laughs> nah, you ain't. It's bad. Oh, what the hell, man? Oh. Leave my park alone. Oh, we are losing so much money. Delivery complete. Asset transportation complete. Fix the hotels. And repair the substation. We're making money. Oh, we're making money. Oh, we've capped out these. Nice. Okay. So that's what? 24,000, 29,000, and 30,000. So basically three lots of 30,000. That's nice. Tasty. Oh, look at these. Okay. This game is nothing but stress. Now, the first game was hard. Don't get me wrong. I played through, the, I played through everything on the first game. I played through the campaign... I played through all the DLCs, I five-starred everything. So I was in there for a while. And it was it was tough. When storms came along, nine times out of ten they were okay. The only real problem with storms was the last two islands in that game. That that was when that was when you'd get tornadoes and they would tear through your facility and, and make all your dinosaurs go loose. In this one, this island I think you get a storm every half an hour, every 20 minutes. And you have to combat that. And if you haven't put down enough dinos, um, that's a big old you problem. Ah, okay, we have fossils. Interesting. What have we got? The Apatosaurus. A long necky boy. 
we can make up 58% of the genome. And I'm going to use O'Neill and Tota. Get to it, doctors. And then I'm going to put two of my scientists to bed because they're going to get grumpy otherwise. So not only do you have to take care of the dinosaurs and the guests in this one, uh, you actually you get scientists. This is a, a new thing. Uh, and you see here they've got stats. So uh, if we look at Araya, Dr. Araya has one in logistics, which is the cog, one in genetics, which is the little chemical bottle, and three in welfare, which is the little cross, the medicine icon. And that's basically, this is how good they are at certain things. Um, and so what logistics affects is research and expeditions when you are getting your scientists to do stuff for you. Genetics is whether they can um, research dinosaurs. You need logistics and genetics for that. And whether they can um, help you create dinosaurs at a Hammond lab. And welfare is whether they can heal dinosaurs. And also, I think that comes into play when it comes to making dinosaurs as well. So there's a lot, there's a lot you've got to keep under wraps with them. They also all have their own little skills, their traits. Like faster research means faster research. Uh, logistics specialist means that that's what they excel at. So you see that Fakuri here has five logistics points, whereas everybody else has like one or two. Apart from Powell, who's a logistics specialist, and Matsui. You also get like cheaper research. It just means that stuff is cheaper. No way. We never would have guessed. The total salary I pay out of my money that I earn is 140000 to pay for their salaries. So it's really tough. You also have to manage your scientists as well as your dinosaurs and your guests and everything in your park is, that is trying to kill you. Or at least sink your park. So I'm going down the list of getting the cheapest dinosaurs first. All the while I'm racing that T-Rex to its death. Because if that T-Rex dies, all the money in this park is gone. Run. Oh. oh, look at you, you're so dopey. That's cute. That's wholesome. Right, fuel uh, is also something they introduced into this. You have to keep your, your rangers fueled up and fed. Uh, they've introduced backup generators that also take up fuel. Uh, I would say, let's go get the compies, because they're really cheap to make, as well as go and get. But we don't have much money! Okay, I'm gonna take a chance. This is really dumb what I'm doing. I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm gonna... I am a dumb person. I can't call myself dumb and then not live up to that name. What are you up to, buddy? Oh yeah, stand right there, that is actually perfect. Oh yeah, you were big, big dino. You strut your stuff, girl. Oh. That is not a face you want to wake up to. Like, talk about regretting the night before. Let's get one of these. It's a response facility. Because, pretty soon, I'm going to be expanding what dinosaurs live here. So I want that covered by, by some people. And we want to make sure that's powered, so let's get a small substation. And just, uh, let's whap it there. Make sure that's connected. Fantastic. Uh, and then we want a paleo medical facility also. That is a honking little facility. Let's place it there. And then let's get a path. Oh yeah, that needs a path, really. Okay. Okay, game. 
whatever you say. Uh, a new thing they've added is each dinosaur, if you scroll here, you, you can see your dinosaur needs, which is really, really cool, but they've added what species they do and don't like. You can't just put any herbivore with any herbivore anymore, which is a massive problem for me, because I used to keep all of my long-necked dinosaurs together, but if we scroll over to the Apatosaurus, you can now see they dislike other sauropods. Which is really annoying. <laughs> so yeah, they, they name what kind of dinosaurs they can gel with by their genomes in this. Not necessarily by what actual dinosaurs they like. So if you don't know that a dinosaur belongs to a specific genus, you're f***ed. If you put them in an enclosure with something that doesn't like it, they will fight and kill each other. But they've also added in this that dinosaurs of the same species will fight. And if a dinosaur that they're fighting is already injured, they will kill it. So you have to be on top of your game when playing this one. Whereas the other one was kind of like a nice, calming experience uh, where you just make dinosaurs happy. In this one, you really need to know your stuff. Got to sing a lullaby for my scientist, O'Neill. Uh, go to sleep, O'Neill. When you wake, there'll be dinos, and you can see the dinos. Uh, so go the f*** to sleep. You shag! There you go. Alright. Night, O'Neill. <laughs> this is such a hostile work environment. Let's get a viewing gallery here. As close to the gate as possible. That still leaves a large chunk unviewable. Can I fix that? Have we got, uh... Oh, man, we don't even have viewing platforms yet. Christ. Right, let's get compies. Right, modify the genome. Okay, ooh, what do we want them to look like? Oh, black compies would be cool. Like, yeah, like dark grey, that's cool. Uh, short-lived. Not on my watch. I want my dinosaurs to live forever, because then they can make me more money! Let's put a substation here. Connect it up. Nope, that's not gonna work. Connect it up there. I'm also gonna, actually, uh, let's put in a backup generator, just in case. I'm gonna put it... Yeah, I'm gonna pop it there because I don't want it. I don't want it backing up that. I'd really like it if you were doing what I wanted you to do rather than what you want to do. Okay. Oh man, that's gonna look so ugly. Oh. Oh well. We do what we must when building dinosaur parks. Hey, quiet and down over there. I'm trying to think. Stop screaming. You're a T-Rex, not a bitch. Oh, I'm a dinosaur. I'm gonna make all this noise. Man. What did I just say? I'll send a ranger team in there to flick you in the nose if I have to. Okay, what trait have you got? Nocturnal. Okay. Well, that's not good. They're going to be asleep when people want to look at them. 200,000. Whoa, we've got two mil? When did that happen? Oh, nice. Okay, let's... Uh... Let's put Araya and Mahmood on this. You guys do your thing. Make me some dinosaurs. I will get a scientist to... Research... Training points. Uh, let's get a 7 and a 5. Let's do it that way. Perfect. En route to collect the asset. Collecting oh, asset. I've got 8 of these. To collect the asset. Uh, they're gonna want food. I have to feed them. That would help. Let's put a feeder there and a feeder here. 
You all get two points, right? Nice. Okay, so all my scientists are now asking for a higher wage, which sucks, but other than that, it's all Gucci. Right, you're lonely, but that's fine. We've got more coming. Uh, there's not enough water and there's not enough sand. There should be enough water, you're just dumb. But sand I get, there's hardly any sand here. There you go. There's sand. Have you expanded your territory enough to find the water yet? Asset transportation underway. Oh, they're so cute! <laughs> oh, that's fucking adorable. Oh, look at you. You're loving life. That's too deep for you, buddy. Turn back. Oh, well. If it drowns, I'll never know. <laughs>
Eh? Uh, okay, that works somehow. Okay. <laughs> oh no, buddy! Are you okay? Oh, fam, that sucks. Commencing asset transit. <laughs> Oh, mate, that sucks to be you. <laughs> What's that look like on the map? Oh, my God, look. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> Wow, what a ride. Forest. You still, you do still need more forest, but you haven't expanded your territory all the way through. It's not my fault that you're stupid. I need you dinosaurs to understand this. It's not my fault that you're dumb. You're just dumb. Let's make one of these. Or two of these. How much is three? Yeah, go for it. Let's make three of those. Right, let me check the let me check the needs before we do anything else. They do want forest. There is currently no forest over there. So let's release these via airlift. Constructed. Picking up asset. That should be enough. They should love that. And then, I might put compies in there with them just because I can. Welcome to your new home. I hope you have fun. You're gonna like it here, bud. Transportation complete. You're missing forest. Well, maybe if you took a look to your left. Yeah, there you go, dickhead. Look at all that forest. Water. Over by the forest. Forest is over by the water. There you go, buddy. That's it. Yeah, there you go. You're happy. Oh, perfect conditions. Look at that. Okay, well, there's still a 25% chance of you getting sick. But that's fine. Let's give you... Uh, two threes. Right. Our next genome we said we were going to go get was the Triceratops, right? Off you go, pal. Let's get the compies in with the Ceratosauruses. Asset requiring collection. Heading to collect the asset. Adding to the list. Acknowledged. Six will do it. Oh yeah, that's lovely. All right, so people people are shopping here. Storm warning! Right, okay, here we go. This is where everything falls apart. And we do not have the money to cover if it does fall apart. Fence is broken already, where? Okay, here we go. Stop what you're doing and fix this fence. Let's tranquilize the T-Rex.
Oh shit. Uh, which one's the T-Rex? There he is. Tranquilize the T-Rex. Uh, let's get you. Fix that. It looks like it's just an ordinary storm. I don't think there's going to be a tornado. While you're fixing that, also fix this. You. Fix. Uh, and fix the research center too. You. Fix. I'm not even bothering to learn my ranger team's names. It's just you. Do task. You. Don't be a prick. Okay, yeah, let's open the shelters. It's all good. Well, close the shelters, rather. Want the dinosaurs to fight? No. But do they want to fight? For some, it is what they were born for, what they live for, and what they're willing to die for. That is a purity that few humans have. Okay, I appreciate that, Dr. Wu, but who's fighting? A fight has broken out between my Tyrannosauruses. Uh, Triceratopses. Stop fighting! A fight has begun between the Pachycephalosauruses. Why? Chill out. Stop. Stop. Just relax. Stop fighting. Delivery has been completed. Oh, is it? Oh, it's you two. Why are you fighting? <laughs> well, no wonder you've got an undiagnosed ailment. You just fucking headbutted that guy. You nutted him. Asset delivered. I'm gonna go get the Allura Titan DNA first while I'm researching this next one. I will punt you like an unruly chihuahua. I want that on a f***ing t-shirt. <laughs> Just because of how unruly my chihuahuas are, I want I will punt you like an unruly chihuahua on a t-shirt. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is money in the bank, boy. Oh shit, we got injured dinosaurs. Uh, my capitalist side took over. We should probably look after our sick dinos. The game decides to run a lawnmower through its sound design at this point, so Poodaroo has to mute all game audio. Enjoy his riveting commentary with silent gaming. With great commentary, like testing, testing, penis, penis, penis. How, how could I need music or sound effects? Oh, actually, I want the Carnotaurus first. Because we've got money right now, I could I could get the Carnotaurus. So that means we need an enclosure for a new dinosaur. <music> Who needs happy staff or happy dinosaurs? What I need is money. <laughs> We'd be OnlyFans rivals. Or, or, hear me out, OnlyFans collab. I think that would be quite a sight. Me and you, and our pups. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag pups out. <laughs> Onlypups.com. <laughs> Do you know what? Actually, Onlypups does genuinely sound like a dog Instagram website. For all your... Doggy needs. N wait, no. Asset has been I don't know, if I went to a website that was like, only pups, and I think it's dogs, and then I actually see boobs, I wouldn't say that's too bad of a shock. 
I'd be like, huh, okay, guess I misunderstood, but I'm still happy to be here. <laughs> These dinosaurs won't be the only thing feeling stress if you don't get them calm and back under control. In case I'm not clear, I am referring to you. What do you mean? Who's not under control? Well, my dinos are fine, Dr. Wu. Shut the f*** up. Jungasaurus. Oh, you guys are fucking ugly. <laughs> Poodaroo really out here judging 70 million years BC by today's beauty standards. I always forget how ugly these dinos are. Whoa, we can have red ones! Yes! Oh, my vehicle got blown up. Hey! Hey! Cut it out, man. Just because you're big and scary, don't mean I won't yell at you. Blow up my car, look what you've done! And now I'm the one who has to, to pay for a new one. And write the letter home to the family. This dickhead was killed by a bigger dickhead. They need a minimum of three, I think. So one, two, three. Humble? Huh. Okay, cool. 2 mil, 2.3 mil, no, 2.5 mil. Why are you hurt? What's wrong with you? Let me guess, you've got a toothache. Oh, you've got cryptosporidiasis. Cryptosporidiasis. Is that what they call it when you invest in Bitcoin? Gotta take a picture of him. Because apparently we need to point and laugh at the fact this dinosaur's got cryptospira dira dira dira. Oh, was that not it? How do you how do you research a cure for cryptosporidiasis? It's this one. Airlift these bad boys into their new enclosure. Asset collection request received. Tasty. <laughs> she replied, Pump me with the beard tinsel on. <laughs> Nothing else. No, hi, how are you? <laughs> I mean, I think the biggest question here is did you? Did you, uh. Did you do the dance with no pants, but with tinsel on your beard? The dance, the dance with no pants, this is why I adore you. <laughs> it is, the, the, the dance with no, with no pants. Even better, in France. I mean, not that I've had the, the chance, haha. <laughs> Mind you, the last time I was in France, I was eight, and that would have been illegal for me to have sex with anyone. You know, as a, as a young eight-year-old in France, I was getting many offers, mind you. But uh, I politely declined, because Disneyland. So... Oh yeah, they got the, uh, the Baryonyx. I could get some of that. Let's get some Baryonyx DNA. Uh, and I need to put a Ranger Post. In... That one. So then let's get a party started, because 
we do what we like, and we like what we do. We do what we like, and we like what we do. So let's get a party started. A what? One. Two. And that's about as high as I can count, so someone else is going to have to take over. Oh god, here we go. Oh, Christ. Oh man, my poor dinosaurs! Okay, let's... Oh my god, everything is broken. What are you fixing? You're not fixing anything. Okay, so... Fix the power station. That's the expedition center. Whoops. Uh, fix the substations. Repair that. And repair that. And then... Repair... That. Then you can repair that and that. We've got fossils, yay! Ooh, what's that? $640,000? Nice! Give me that. Hell yeah. Uh, Baryonyx, here you are. Color. Ooh, a bright yellow baryonyx would be cool. Yeah, let's go for that. Uh, you're thirsty. That's fine. Let's give you a 100% chance of living long. It's 500,000 to get that in the works. Let's do that. These ones might benefit from being large amenities. Because they're right next to the hotels. Which I'm about to put down another large hotel. So if I have it further back, I'll be able to fit in the larger amenities when I bomb these ones. Right, what kind of injury are we looking at here? What's wrong with you? You've got concussion. Maybe if you didn't headbutt everything, that wouldn't be a problem. I mean, I don't mean to victim blame, but that does sound like a you problem. Stegosaurus, 640. Go get it. Go fetch! Woof, woof. <laughs> Fun with a dick. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, uh... I guess I can't really say how much fun you can have with a dick. But, uh... You never know. I've uh, never had any experience with a penis. I I don't own one. You see, I was born like a Ken doll. I don't have any genitalia. Okay, so Powell, you're gonna be really grumpy with me, but I'm gonna send you. Oh, I won't need to. Awesome. I'm gonna send you anyway. Yeah, I'll send Powell anyway. Because I said at the start of this stream, the whole problem with this island besides tornadoes is they give you the T-Rex straight away. Which is a great boost in money, but when the T-Rex dies, you lose most of your income. Unless you pack out your park with dinosaurs. And my problem is I don't think I've got enough to counteract losing the T-Rex. But if I get the T-Rex genome now, it won't matter that the T-Rex will die. And then we can work on getting other dinos. I was supposed to be making some of these as well. Let's get some of these going. Uh, let's have you... Whoa, dark black Alora Titan. That would be cool. So let's make... Let's make another enclosure.
y'all to bed. Oh, you're on the expedition. I can't put you to bed yet, of course. <laughs> you just knock him out on the expedition. Go the <laughs> to sleep, pal. <laughs> We've got orders from the top. Management says it's time to sleep. I really, really hope it's enough. 42. 49. Are you f***ing serious? It's not enough. It's it's one point short. That's so annoying. Do you know what? I might not put the Allura Titan in there. I might put the Allura Titan in here. Yeah. En route to collect the asset. Heading to collect the asset. Right. They like uh, ground fiber, so... I'm going to deforestize this entire place here. Despite the fact I'm probably going to put more trees back. Let's put in a ranger post. Here. Let's get some ground fiber for the Allura Titans. Ground fiber is this one? Oh, lovely. Look at that. That should be enough. If it's not, well, then they can deal with it. <laughs> I'm not putting any more in. And then let's put a gate in there. A gate here. Let's set up this ranger to take a goose at that. This enclosure is not going to be big enough for the other dinosaurs, I've just realized. But let's put in a viewing gallery. And then we'll see if our Allura Titans want anything else. And then we'll introduce some Stegosauruses. Let's put a viewing platform. There. Have a path. Oh, thread that needle, baby. Yeah! Oh, you are gonna love who I'm gonna set you up with. I'm gonna set you up with Stegosauruses and Brachiosauruses. You are gonna love me. That's why this enclosure is nowhere near big enough. I'm gonna have to expand it out here a little bit. Dead dinosaur! Please don't be the T-Rex. Frank. What is it? Oh, it's one of the Ankylosauruses. That means the T-Rex will be next. 500,000, that's not bad. It's getting the Ankylosaurus that's the problem. Oh, look at that. For four million dollars, I should f***ing hope so. <laughs> the dinosaur, please don't be the T-Rex. Please don't be the T-Rex. Please don't be the T-Rex. It's the other Ankylosaurus. Okay. I don't want to put the T-Rex in the cooker because last time I did that, I literally put the T-Rex in the cooker and this T-Rex died. So I'm just going to leave it for now. Stop bullying my car. Oh, that's it. That's the T-Rex. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, we're fucked. That's it. That's all, folks. <laughs> I might try and get the Ankylosauruses back first. Because they are popular dinosaurs. I noticed the first dip in money when the when the Ankylo died. So if we get those two back, then we can work on getting the T-Rex back afterwards. What's also about to happen, and I know it's about to happen, we're going to get a storm. 
And once we've got a storm, it's going to f*** everything up. We are going to lose every penny we have once that storm hits. Okay, fossil oils. Please, let me have enough. Oh, no! Okay, let's go for the T-Rex. It's our only hope. No, that's bad. Don't do that. Go for the Ankylo. Because if we do the T-Rex now, and we have a storm, we won't recover. So let's go, let's go finish off this. Don't panic. That's the worst possible choice. Oh, we are in... We are in scary water. We are in spook. Spooky land. Alright, and Kylosaurus, how much? Oh, so cheap! They're so cheap! Oh my god, I'm gonna make a second batch after this. Oh, 700,000, I love you. I love you. I was thinking they were going to be like, oh, ridiculously expensive. Oh. No! No! No, not a storm, please! We're lucky. It's just a, um, an ordinary storm. Just a hurricane. It's not a tornado. Storm's already passed. We are so lucky. We are so damn lucky. Okay, we've got dead triceratopses also. Death is inevitable for all creatures. But we lose more with a dinosaur. Why are they all dying all at once? Investment. The loss is incalculable. Oh my god. Understood. Another one? Why is everything dying all at once? I can't keep up. It will be the Nasutoceratops next. We got another dead dinosaur. Is it a Nasutoceratops? It's a Gallimimus. Jurassic World continue their journey into gardening by pulling a leaf blower out and destroying their sound design once again. A large chunk of the video is missing. Thank God. No, I'm so sorry, O'Neill. I'm so sorry. Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, God, that felt horrible. Honestly, I hated working here anyway. Good riddance. I'm gonna chase my dream of raising cows instead of dinos. We need someone with at least five genetics. Oh, well, these candidates suck. Five logistics, five logistics. My dude. Can I train them up? If I hire them. I'm gonna go with you. Oh, I can't give out points. Okay, this is... This is rough. Major fracture. Okay, hold on. Uh... It's better than Colonel Fracture. <laughs> Dead dinosaur. Welp! I guess I don't need to send you to the MVU. Because <laughs> you just up and f***ing died. Araya, you were my weak link last time. I'm going to fire you. I didn't do anything to you. This is such a bad idea. This is such a bad idea. Okay, you, you, and you. Get it done. This is all just to get the park back up to what it was. This isn't even to improve the park further. That's the most frustrating thing about this. It would be so easy for me to, to build a, a functioning gyro station, which is the, the current mission. I 
Okay, so we've got what we need. We also have space for one more scientist. Um, and, a, and a brand new science center, which will give us two more scientists. But right now, I just want my <laughs> T-Rex. So, a six, a four, and a four. Run, buddy, run! They're coming to tranquilize you! Run! Run away! If you were a dinosaur running away from a threat, would you really stop? I know that they have to make it easy for me because it takes too long to tranquilize dinosaurs anyway, but come on, he literally just like, <gasps> okay, I'm fine now. I think eventually the dinosaurs would become wise to the whole tranquilizing process. They'd be like, when the helicopter comes above, run into the trees. And all the other dinosaurs would be like, oh, yeah, mate, that's fucking smart. All right, let's put it by the T-Rex, uh, debris. This will get people shopping here, also. T-Rex is done. T-Rex is done. But we want a T-Rex! <laughs> Finally. Mama. This is it. We're gonna lose the park. This is it. This is the park killer. Open all shelters. What's breaking? Oh, there it is. Hey, buddy. Thanks for visiting the park. You didn't even buy a ticket. You just kind of jumped the gate and were like, I live here now. This is my park. If I could just prepare the fence, that would be swell. This is fine. I didn't want a functioning park anyway. I can't fix the problem with the storm until the storm's died down. Hey, nice. Yes, I know, the park is failing. I know. I know. Trust me, I know. Just, we will reopen everything once the dinosaurs are actually... ...back where they should be. Asset being transported. Do you really need to go inside? That dinosaur is standing still, dude. There you go. Can we get the fence fixed? Okay, fence is fixed, but the compy's out now. Oh my god.
What a marksman to be able to hit a compy that's running with a uh, with a trank dart. That's impressive. More gardening from JWE Central, going for the Green Thumb Award. More lost video footage. Hooray! So, thank you to everyone who has joined me and who will join me in the future. I've been your friendly neighborhood Puderu. This has been Jurassic World Evolution 2. Very, very spectacular game. Very fun and great if you're a fan of Jurassic World and Jurassic Park like I am. Take care of yourselves. Remember to hydrate, eat, sleep. Uh, don't be like me, the ultimate hypocrite, and do none of those things. <laughs> so have yourselves a wonderful day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye-bye. Ta-ta. And a uh, rar from my dinosaurs, apparently. Which means... uh. Laters in dinosaur.